I wanted to show you parts of the factory tour and what I believe is the Delta version of Aptera. And kind of the small differences between Gamma and Delta that I've, I've noticed. So this is the production line, so pretty close to the end. So you'll see between these two, I'm a little, I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe this is more for the glass hatch and then this is the solar. I can, that's the only thing I can think of. But it seems like the, the locking hatch will still be back here somewhere, whether it's glass or solar, I would assume. And it'll be more tidied up versus what's in gamma. So you'll have full access to the storage. So let me just play this a little bit. So on this step, they're doing the deck lid. Door latch and stuff. So go to this last one. This is kind of the best angle of it. So right here, the car is basically finished. This is the fluid station. So a couple of differences I noticed is instead of the solar panels on ending around here, they're taking up the full length of the hatch, which I like to see. It has a nice, nice look to it. And I don't think this is a light, it's probably just an image because the license plate would be there. I wonder if that's a light or if it's a reflective. I would think it might be reflective, but we'll see. Those are the cameras for backing up wide and narrow view. Narrow view is just for the normal review mirror and the wide angles for backing up. So yeah, mainly the difference is just the hatch being a little bit longer, more panels. And that recent solar video, the solar panels are looking quite stunning and it's really exciting to see that. So the main difference is in the last step they put on the wheel wells. Let me go back to the start here. So this one they're doing the belly pan hood and the, the rear wheel. So that's kind of the finished up terror at this point. So nothing really different from the front that I notice from Gamma. So mainly it's that rear hatch. And there's gonna be more differences that we'll see with Delta for sure. I think a lot more subtle differences because the car, I remember them saying it was about 80% done. So I believe this is the final production here with just minor tweaks left to do. So let me know your thoughts. I would think my, my guess on when they will show a physical Delta would probably be Late November is my guess, possibly or December. And from what Chris mentioned in an interview with Transport Evolve, once they get the Delta model kind of pinned down as far as everything, they'll start kind of aligning everything with the suppliers. And they said that it could take up to six months. So we'd probably start seeing realistic ramp in May, June, something like that, which I think is realistic. You might see some smaller numbers come out, maybe as they're being built in smaller numbers. I could maybe see some being built prior to that, but I think full ramp will be will be spring at some point. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. This is gonna be an exciting time for Aptera fans for the rest of the year. We'll get I'm sure we'll get lots of interesting content coming up. And yeah, let me know your thoughts.